Right. Um, so, uh, is it uh, law or is it Memorex? Is it, um, you know, what, what do we do with some of these issues? Um, is it denial of service if it's the system owner that denies you service? Is it denial of service or is it um, a contractual failure or service level disagreement? Um, if somebody does mount a denial of service attack on you, um, again, um, in what situation in regard to your customers suing you for not providing the service? Um, if uh, you have not uh, taken precautions against denial of service attacks of, of various types, um, if you are uh, leaping on the uh, efficiency bandwagon and have shaved the margins too tight and uh, you've got too many customers and, and they can't all get the level of service that you have agreed to or that they have signed up for. Um, so, you know, uh, when is it denial of service and, and when is it a you know disagreement over the level of service agreed to? Um, voyeurism. Um, and, and oh, this is going in all kinds of different directions. Um, there, uh, well, first of all, there's voyeurism that involves no voyeurism at all. Um, uh, most uh, people who have any kind of presence are getting uh, you know, fairly familiar with the emails that show up saying, I have video of you masturbating or engaged in sex or, you know, whatever. Um, I have uh, piggybacked on your use of a pornographic website um, and have, uh, you know, video of, of your interactions with it. And, and therefore, um, you know, you uh, pay me uh, or I will release this video to the world. Um, you know, there's that kind of extortion. Um, there, there certainly is voyeurism of all kinds of types. We are, you know, finding uh, video cameras are getting smaller. Um, the um, ability to place them, the ability to access the uh, streams from them is increasing. Um, and so an awful lot of people are subject to these kinds of attacks and, and you know, in uh, those cases, deliberately, you know, and, and uh, legitimately, if you can say it that way. So, because the, um, you know, somebody has uh, taken a video of, of them in the altogether. Um, and then, of course, there is the, you know, the sextortion scams where the uh, victims, usually young, uh, think they are uh, corresponding with another young person and uh, are convinced to, you know, take off various articles of clothing with the, uh, you know, uh, laptop webcam on uh, for, you know, Zoom call purposes or, or whatever, and then, you know, Oh ho! Um, okay, now I've got this video. I'm going to release it unless you uh, perform these hex acts for me, and uh, so it goes. Um, so all kinds of these issues, and and some clearly illegal. But you know, does anybody want to pursue uh, a case like that where? Um, you know, it's, it can be very embarrassing for you. Um, and then there's... Uh, oh, just simply the fact of using a computer to commit 
uh, any other type of crime. Uh, using a computer to lure somebody uh, to a site where they can be murdered or beaten up or something like that. Um, it, uh, Facebook Marketplace is uh, no longer uh, encouraged as a place to sell items, or at least if you're going to do it, you're going to have to take uh, precautions as to how you meet the buyer. Um, it's, you know, almost a, a daily uh, story now where somebody uh, goes to sell something, um, meets someone on uh, Facebook Marketplace or, you know, a, a, a contact, a supposed buyer from Facebook Marketplace, and uh, the buyer shows up and steals the item or beats up the person and steals the item. Um, so, uh, you know, there's, there's that kind of luring, but, you know, any kind of crime these days can involve a, a computer component, um, any kind of fraud, um, uh, you know, carjacking by, um, you know, being able to unlock the car with special technologies. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure you can think of pretty much anything, uh, any kind of crime. Um, and there, there can be a computer component to it. So, um, does this make it a different crime? Does it, um, make it a, uh, you know, a, a difference in, in sentencing um, in terms of how this crime is viewed. Uh, so, there are, you know, those issues to be addressed in law as well. Um, the, uh, well, just unauthorized use of resources. So I think I... Uh, talked about, you know, somebody who you hire as your webmaster who decides that you have, uh, you know, a great big, mostly unused uh, storage server farm. Uh, you have terrific uh, web servers, thanks to his administration. Um, and you got a good network connection. So he decides to go into business for himself, uh, selling child pornography off your servers. Uh, and again, you know, we talked about that in terms of having policies that clearly state that, no, this is not something you can do with company resources. But, you know, all kinds of... Uh, is this allowed? Is this... Uh, permissible is this unauthorized use of resources and sometimes you you actually want to encourage unauthorized use um, to get people into new technologies and to build um, the skill sets in your employees and the the willingness to pursue technology that we need to run the business. So, you know, all kinds of these areas of, you know, what do we want to do? Uh, how do we want to consider this? Is this illegal? Um, is it improper? Do we have a legal leg to stand on if we decide to pursue criminal charges, uh, civil lawsuits, whatever? Uh, and, as always, ask any lawyer a question, the answer is going to be, it depends.